Hi guys, it's Capper, and as you know, with the coronavirus, we are starting to use the glide scope or video laryngoscopy a lot more. I know a lot of the uh, docs are a lot more experienced with via uh, DL with direct laryngoscopy, um, but I wanted to show you the steps, like the proper steps to use the glide scope. Of course, practice is a big deal. Um, so. You have your rigid stylet, which is kind of a key to this. You see, I got my box here. I got my sim dummy. And there's a, only a handful of things that I really want to highlight. So step one is you look into the mouth. And you focus on just putting the glide scope directly into the mouth. I know this sounds simple, um, but if you do these steps properly, it's a big deal. So you look into the mouth and you put the scope, the curved part of the blade, into the mouth. Good. Then you focus, if you take a look here, on getting the best view, okay? Obtain the best glottic view, and we'll say, you know, we got a decent view, right? Epiglottis, you can see chords there. So then, this is a glide scope go, so I don't really have to move my eyes too much, but with the regular glide scope, you would be kind of looking to the left. Then you take your eyes off the chords. This is not what you do during... Uh, regular direct laryngoscopy. You take your eyes off the cords and you really focus your mind and your eyes on putting the tube in the mouth. So always hold with your thumb top grip like a controller, you know, kind of like a joystick grip, and then take your eyes off of the view. I know it sounds counterintuitive, and really focus on where you're putting the tip of this tube. And just think about that. Forget the Forget the cords, forget intubation, and just focus on getting that tube properly in. Sometimes you'll kind of hug the side of that uh, glide scope blade, and then you go in, and then of course the rest, there's not too much left to explain, except for you're holding your thumb on that joystick, and then you kind of maneuver in, and boom, you get your good view, and then you pop the stylet. The one thing, last little part, is that you do kind of pull anteriorly with that stylet. So nice and easy, if you do those four steps, um, you know, you'll see where people mess up. And one of the major parts is getting the actual tube into the patient's mouth, where you won't be able to find the tip of your tube. But if you really forget intubation almost, and just focus on the tip of that tube where you're going, uh, I think you'll love the glide scope. It really, it, it, I think it's super fun to intubate with. It's almost like I'm like driving a boat or something. You got the joystick and you can really maneuver it well. So if it's not something you're familiar with, if you're really a DL guy, which a lot of people are, that's okay. Um, and it's clearly a, a, an important skill. Um, but give this thing a try, especially <laughs> during you know these Corona times. Um, but hey, look, if you if you can, I know some of you docs can intubate uh, direct in 10 seconds. So. Yeah, it's up to you. Give it a shot or stick to be up.